Hello from your National Weather Service forecast office in Amarillo. We are looking at some uh, fire weather conditions actually for tomorrow, a little bit today, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but we do want to make sure everybody is uh, at least aware of the uh, potential for a few wildfires tomorrow and also for the uh, rapid spread of those fires. So as we kind of take a look at uh, everything going on, what we are looking for is uh, uh, the factors being in place for any fires that start either this afternoon or tomorrow especially to really spread rapidly. Not only do we have extremely dry conditions in the forecast for tomorrow, the last couple of weeks, last couple of months have been extremely dry and the uh, grasses are, are pretty much cured. So a lot of fuel out there for things to, to burn up, unfortunately. Also on Sunday afternoon, we are going to be expecting very strong southwesterly winds. We're talking 30 to 35 miles per hour or so out of the west and southwest. Not overly strong by panhandle standards, but uh, strong nonetheless. Now we are looking at uh, a few things for today as well, mainly up in the northwest, up around uh, Cimarron County and uh, to the north and west of Dalhart. Could see a few fires today. The winds aren't nearly as strong today as what we're expecting tomorrow. And that means most of the rest of the area is going to be looking at uh, uh, pretty significant conditions for uh, wildfires to, uh, to start. And of course, uh, we are gonna be asking everybody to be extremely careful with any uh, kind of spark or flame or anything going on this, this weekend. So as we look into uh, tomorrow afternoon, it's really dry and windy. When we say dry, we're talking relative humidity levels, less than 10% across pretty much the entire area. Uh, it's going to be the, uh, the lowest in the south and west, including the cities of Amarillo, uh, Perryton, Borger, Pampa, and also down into uh, Canyon and also Hereford. The winds are also going to be a problem. We're going to see sustained winds up around 30 miles per hour. Not that bad by panhandle standards, maybe, but we're also going to be seeing wind gusts up to around 45 miles per hour, especially in the south and west. And the combination of dry conditions, strong winds, and plenty of stuff for uh, fire to burn uh, it's not a very good situation now uh, the winds are going to shift just a little bit uh, well quite a bit actually sunday night by around 10 p.m or so the winds are going to die down to around 15 to 20 miles per hour but the front is going to be slowly making its way into the oklahoma panhandle by 10 by 11 it should be around lake meredith and the borger area and then by midnight sunday night into monday morning that front should be all the way through the panhandles and going to uh, give us more of a northwest wind at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. And uh, just a reminder, a majority of wildfires, unfortunately, across the nation, and it's definitely true here in Texas and Oklahoma as well, most of those are actually uh, caused by humans and or the activities. So just be very careful today and especially tomorrow uh, just to make sure that you are being as careful as can be with any kind of flame. Well, that's it for now. Uh, we are going to uh, be here. You can get our uh, uh, forecast and information at our website, www.weather.gov slash Amarillo. And uh, you can also get a lot of information uh, through our Twitter feed and Facebook feed as well. We'll be keeping you up to date as we are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thanks for joining us and uh, be careful out there this weekend.